Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain the concept of exact equations. See, a differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Here, m is a function in terms of x and y and n is also a function in terms of x and y. That's why some of the members can also return this equation as m of xy dx plus n of xy dy is equal to 0. Already we know that this is the standard form of first order and of first degree differential equation. Is said to be exact if the LHS part, the left hand side part, nothing but MDX plus NDY is exact derivative, exact derivative of some function. u of x comma y it means that if you take the derivative of this term u of x comma y if you get m dx plus n dy then m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is called exact okay that is derivative of u of x y should be equal to m dx plus n dy okay so what is the mean by exact differential equation the left hand side part of this equation is exact derivative of some function u of x comma y see some example consider the differential equation x dx sorry y dx plus x dy is equal to 0 i am taking this differential equation Clearly, it is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Clearly, the left hand side part, nothing but y dx plus x dy, is the derivative of the term xy. So, please do the derivative of xy. So, y into, according to the uv rule, y into derivative of x is nothing but dx plus x into derivative of y is dy. Okay, so this is the u of x comma y. Here we are observing that the left hand side part is the derivative of the term x y. Direct derivative otherwise exact derivative of x y. That is why this given equation is exact. This is the theoretical definition of exact differential equation. But this theoretical, difference, theoretical definition is very very difficult to check whether the given differential equation is exact or not. That is why I will give necessary and sufficient condition to that exactness of your differential equation C. See the necessary and sufficient condition for exactness. A differential equation, a differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is exact if or no if what is the symbol for if or no if this one if or no this is nothing but necessary and sufficient condition of this equation is exact is do m by do y is equal to do n by do x problematically we can use this condition to check that whether given differential equation is exact or not Okay, this is very very important. Don't forget it. Okay, m dx plus n dy is equal to zero is exact. Then what happened? Do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. If do m by do y is equal to do n by do x, then automatically m dx plus n dy is equal to zero becomes exact. So what is do m by do y? Partial differentiation of m with respect to y should be equal to partial differentiation of n with respect to x. Okay, if do m by do y is not equal to do n by do x then given differential equation nothing but m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is said to be 
non exact is called non exact okay see the general solution of an exact equation general solution otherwise complete solution if m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is what is this this is the standard form of the given differential equation which is of first order and of first degree is exact it means that it satisfies this condition dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x then we can write its general solution directly by using following formula by using following formula okay so what is it integration of m dx here y should be constant plus integration of terms of n terms of n not containing x not containing x whole into dy is equal to c this is the general solution formula for an exact equation suppose in the problem if we get dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x immediately we conclude that given differential equation is exact whenever we get the given equation is exact immediately we can write the general solution directly by using this formula once again please see the formula very first part in the general solution is integration of m dx we should write all terms of m and we have to take the integration with respect to x plus don't write all terms of n here in the second part just we have to write the terms of n which do not contain x it means that you should write only terms of y here okay so this is the formula for general solution of an exact equation from this it is very clear that if given equation is non-exact we can't write the general solution directly if given equation is exact then only we are able to write the general solution by using this formula suppose given equation is non-exact we have to reduce the given equation given non-exact equation to exact by using integrating factors okay in the next video i will give some examples on the exact equations thank you very much